Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Black man, never feel you are not worthy. And let me give a shout out to uh, Dr. T. Hassan Johnson. Um, if y'all don't know that brother's name, y'all need to. That's, that's a powerful academic brother, powerful professor, you know, and really fighting you know, just fighting for black men out there, right? And I follow this brother on Facebook and Twitter. So usually if, if that brother, if he shares something, man, that's, that's one of the few people, if they share something, I'm like looking at it. A lot of people's stuff I'll scroll through, but I, I, I stop and look at his stuff. Now, he shares a, a, a video clip of the actress Debbie Morgan. Now, some old school brothers might remember her from as... Uh, you know, like Angie from All My Children back in the day. And that's, that's just as a prime example of black don't crack. I don't even know how old she is. She, she look about the same way. I'm like, damn, did you got any wrinkles? God damn. <laughs> anyway, right. He shared a, a clip of her doing an interview with Oprah Winfrey, right? And she was talking about her marriage to the actor Charles Dutton. And for those who don't know Charles Dutton, I mean, he was uh, came to prominence as uh, the character Rock in the, uh, I, I ain't even going to call it comedy. It was a good show that had some laughs, but it, it hit on some serious stuff. I mean, that, that deserves a podcast in itself. But anyway, she was married to Charles Dutton. And anybody who knows Charles Dutton's story know that dude got into acting after being in prison. I mean, he... he he was in the life in Baltimore, right? You know, changed his life, turned his life around and everything, right? And they were married, but eventually, it, it was interesting. This could be another video as well. Got three or four videos out of that one clip. She said Debbie Morgan talked about how she was attracted to Charles Dutton's quiet danger. And he had that edge. Even in the TV show Rock, he, he, you could see that edge. Even Even through acting, you saw that edge in him. Right. And so she was attracted to that. But, you know, it didn't work out. Right. And she didn't get into why it didn't work out. All she said was he was never physically abusive. Right. But she said something interesting. Right. She said that he said that he didn't feel worthy to be a husband. You know, that that, that struck me. I was like, hold up, man. That's a maybe not a husband to her. But, you know, this is a good guy. I mean, yeah, he made some mistakes. We all made mistakes. We all, every 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 sinner has a, a future. Every saint has a past, you know? But for him to say he didn't feel worthy to be someone's husband, and she even made the comment during that interview, Debbie Morgan did, that dude's still not married to this day. Right, and I was like, that just struck me. I'm gonna tell you what. This is for every single black man listening to my voice, right? Whether you Pookie on the corner, or you Point Dexter in the uh, boardroom, you know, regardless of your station in life, regardless of you, you are worthy. I'm gonna tell you something now. We have everything coming against us everything people trying to put us down do studies question our intelligence question this and that think about it think about it even our own women collectively collect i'm saying collectively not individuals hey, i know there's some brothers out there get respect from sisters and uh found like sexually attractive respected for what they do but if you look at it collectively nah so we even catching it from our own women, which is a major issue anyway that we need to deal with. But that that's another video and other people are actually addressing the issue. So but understand something, black man. If you catching this type of hell, that means you're all worthy. That means somebody has an issue with you. Think about it. if you were as weak or trifling, or everything else they say, people wouldn't fuck with you. If you were not capable, people wouldn't fuck with you. People only fuck with the people that they look at, they see the strength, then they also have some jealousy of. Because think about it, black man. You done had, you done went through every motherfucking thing in this country, in this world. 
You've been experimented on. You've been denied jobs. You've had your intelligence questioned. And you still motherfucking here. Think about that shit. You know, even on this channel, I've had people try to come at me and say all this, and I just kind of laugh at it. Because I'm saying, motherfucker, all that shit is weak. Because as soon as you start fucking with me, that tell me I'm hitting it. Like, a lot of people will make a mention if I, like, if I get a thumbs down on a video or something, right? And I'm never upset about it. I was like, oh, that means I've hit the target. That's how I know sometimes. sometimes if, I, if I don't get a thumbs down on a video, I worry about it. I was like, oh, shit, I, I, I must not have said much. But I know my worth. Like I said, ever since I was young, came people came at me. I remember, like I said, I've said this before. You know, people talk about colorism. I remember I caught that back in the 80s. I caught that back in the 80s, right? But then... And that was a second there. I was like, oh, shit, you know, people fucking with me because I'm chocolate. But then I said, yeah, you know what? People are fucking with me because I'm chocolate. I'm like, I felt good about that shit. Because <laughs> you ain't going to fuck with somebody. They, people don't fuck with people who, like, are truly weak or whatever. You feel sorry for them, but you don't fuck with them. Nobody fucks with special needs people, you know? So if they even fucking with you, if they even talking about you, you are worthy. You know, everybody try to pathologize us, but shit. You know what? We took all this shit. We took the best that the fucking world had to uh, throw at us, and we still here. We walking tall. We walking with some swag. Cause even even a brother in corporate America's, even no matter what, no matter what's going on with them, we kicking ass. You know, whether it's the corner, whether it's corporate America, shoot, whether it's uh, you know. Doing some blue collar work. Shoot, whether it's helping out with the kids. I mean, we be doing shit with nothing. <laughs> and for a man, especially a man of that stature or any man. Like, I don't want to hear that from anybody. Like, I get some I get some people hit me up privately. They hit me up privately and they feel like, oh, I ain't this, I ain't that. Motherfucker, you still here? That makes you worthy right there. Shit. I mean, hey, that means if you still standing, every single one, I don't give a fuck what you going through. If you still standing, that means you stronger than what came from you, you know? Like someone said something about, uh, somebody said something to me about tattoos, and I said, my scars are my tattoos, all right? And I think it was the Joker from the Dark Knight or some, or some quote attributed to him meant you were stronger than whatever came for you. If your ass listening to the sound of my voice... No matter what you're going through, that means you're worthy because you're still here. No matter what the world threw at you, they couldn't do anything to you. And I don't care. And I know, like, even on YouTube, even on YouTube, you know what? We got all these brothers going against each other and shit. But you know what? Y'all got the ability to do it because y'all were stronger than whatever came at you. Every single one. Every single one of you. Whether I agree with you or not. Whether you like me or not. You were stronger. Everybody. I mean, shoot, rejection. Shoot, being denied a job. Shoot, being getting your heart broke by some female. Whatever, you still here. You know, having your father's skills questioned and shit. Having your very manhood questioned. <laughs> you still here. That makes you more than worthy. That makes you more than worthy. And I always feel that. Look, I'm going to tell you what, man. As a black man, never, ever, never, ever say that. And if you believe that, don't come at me with that. Because I'm just going to look at you and like, please. All right? Never, ever say that. Because that's been the joke. That's, <laughs> that's been what it's been all along in this culture all over the world. They try and break you down. It's like, no. You're not, you're not, not, well, you are... Never feel that you are not worthy. You are more than worthy. More than worthy. Your strength. And everybody wants that strength. Understand that. Alright? I want y'all to think. I want y'all to take that to heart. And this ain't just something I want, you know, some brothers to hear and just say, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Thumbs up. I want every single brother to think about it. Every single brother's gone through some shit. And I ain't going to act like my shit has just been perfect. Man, I've gone through a lot. I got a lot of scars, but I'm still motherfucking here. I'm still here. 
In fact, I mean, shit, one, there was one Scott. This is the second time I'm recording this. I had to discard the first one because that was a full blown rant. And I ain't going to get into why because it'll become a full blown rant again. And I'll just say, I'll say it like this. If you're a person, nah, I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it because police will be involved. So I ain't going to put that shit out there. But I'll just put it like this. Even I've gone through it, but motherfucker, I'm still here. So, anyway, right? I want y'all to think about that, man. Don't ever say that shit. I don't give a fuck who you are, what you got going on. I don't care. I don't care if you if you ain't if you unemployed or if your ass making eight figures. You are worthy. Never feel otherwise. Think on this. <laughs>